This is how we upgraded the suspension on our Jayco camper. Make sure to check out all three kits linked in the comments below. Then stay tuned in this video to see exactly how we do it. bolt upgrade kit simply all this is changing out all the hardware suspension with a new style bolt that takes a greaser and a bronze bushing so everything is lubricated when it's cycling as you're going down the road uh, and improves our wear and makes everything last longer and uh, ride a little smoother so the suspension can cycle smoothly we have the suspension upgrade so the balancer that goes in between the tires, we are upgrading to a Moride 3000 that has a rubber bushing. So as the suspension pushes upwards, it's riding more on the rubber bushing to smooth out the ride so things in the back tend to not get jostled around as much and help improve the ride quality itself. And then we have the X-Factor cross member. So what this is designed is in between any of your frame support bushings, which we are gonna do on the center section, this goes in between, has simple brackets and mounts in between there, and then will improve uh, structural rigidity across the suspension, mostly because we were running into issues where the trailer would have a lot of sway from the frame being a lot thinner on these newer models versus the old ones. Come, everything comes with complete uh, hardware kits and instructions. One key note or why I chose to go with the 3000s over the 4000 models is a simple bolt right here. The 4000 model has a rubber bushing top and bottom, so yes, it controls suspension travel both ways, but my luck is if that rubber bushing ever does fail, there's nothing keeping this in place and it can shift around and all the suspension goes crazy. So, I the 3000s have a metal pin that rides in here, so it as, acts as if it's a backup, just like the original suspension is. So if anything comes, worse comes to worse, it'll just slide up in the slot, bottom out, and I will not have alignment issues, I'll just have a leaning trailer. We're going to start by at the center using a 11 16 inch socket and removing the five nuts from the inside all of these points. You can try to do it from the outside but they're actually staked in these brackets. So you take the nuts off from the inside, pull the shackle off and pound it out with a hammer and it works out nice and easy. As you can see we got all five nuts off nice and easy from the inside and these shackles just come right off on both sides just like that and we'll take a hammer and just knock them out nice and easy obviously we are under a jack to make sure this is safe because this is load bearing so you need to have all the weight off the off the suspension so the tires can roll freely a big note for the difference of why to go with the wet bolt upgrade kit is simply because these shackles are a lot thicker material thus factory ones are quarter inch ultra thin and a nice cheap steel so they do tend to wear out. This camper is only five years old and it's showing some wear already on the shackle. Another 10 years or so this thing would be uh, catastrophically failing probably. Nice key note of why to go with the wet bolt upgrade kit. This is what it looks like with the shackles removed. With the suspension off it's pretty easy just a couple light taps it pops out. One thing to note is you can see these plastic isolator bushings are what are supposed to be what these uh, steel bolts are riding on. This is a 2018 model camper and this one is gone. There is no plastic bushing in there. So it was metal on metal contact already. Uh, not a very old coach. So as you can see, going to a wet bolt kit, but you would take out these plastic bushings and knock in the bronze ones will make a big difference because it didn't have a bushing before. As you can see right here, I got the plastic bushing out on both sides. They just push right in just like that. They say in the book, if you have any troubles, if they don't just slide right in, you can use a C-clamp to press it in. As you can see, I've got a bar clamp right here. I, it did start. I have a block of wood on the back side just to make sure my clamp doesn't push through and fight it. So all you gotta do is tighten up and it will draw it right in nice and easy, just like that. Now we have our 3000 system hanger in here. It does note that you want the greaser circle to be facing up. 
This is the longer bolt out of the X, X Factor crossmember system because the bracket will go on the inside, which means it needs a longer bolt to accommodate. As you can see, we got the 3000 hung. We've got the crossfit uh, factor bracket already mounted on there. And one side's in because this pivot's nice and easy, but sometimes getting this other side is a little bit of a challenge to get the bolt bolts to line up, as you can see. It's not quite there. A helpful hint is using a C-clamp from the frame down to the leaf spring and just putting some pressure on it. Helps pick up the end. Well, things can fit in there nice and smooth, just like that. And here we have one side fully installed, ready to go. Opposite sides, exactly the same as what the front side was. As you can see, once everything is installed, the inner brackets have these hat channels that fit down in the center. Simply put six bolts in the in, on each side, just put them in loosely. They lay over top of each other. And then you put the bolts in the center, you tighten the center bolts down first. Then go back to each side and tighten up six bolts on each side. And that's all there is to it for putting in the structural support cross member. In the end, tools used in the CR3000 wet bolt upgrade kit and the X Factor cross member were C clamp. We used a 3 8 wrench, ratcheting wrench, with a half inch socket, a half inch wrench, a 9 16 wrench, a 916 socket, 1116 socket, a half inch wrench, small flat blade screwdriver for knocking out the pin bushings from the, the plastic bushings, an adjustable wrench, and of course a hammer is always helpful. Leftover parts from doing these three kits at the same time were one extra full set of wet bushings and bolts, another set right here, and then four extra pin bushings because they were all part of the 3000 kit. And that is all that it takes to do this upgrade. All the upgrades today were done on a 2018 Jayco 264BH. Simple bunk bed, no slide outs coach. It took about four hours of time to do it, and all the links that we use in parts will be in the description.